Captain's log. Stardate 86062.6. It's only been a week since my training ended, and the first... Oh, wait. I need to use my outside voice, don't I? I don't think I'll get used to actually speaking. Starfleet has finished my induction, and while my vocal cords couldn't be repaired, the replacement they've offered is... sufficient. My command of the USS Modulator seems to be a bit of a joke, but I've been told that there were, quote, no other starships in the sector. Anyway, we're on our way to Vulcan. Some ambassador needs a cab ride to church or something. Christ. I haven't dealt with a Vulcan since I signed up for Starfleet. Hello, can I help you? I've just joined Starfleet. I was told to come here. Alright, let me take some details. Name? Deconnected. It's a bit on the nose, isn't it? Pardon? Nothing. Any outlying health conditions? Ah. Never mind. Any affiliation to enemies of the Federation or their allies? Guess I should skip that one. Shouldn't I be seeing some kind of admiral or something? Wait, what is he doing? Oh, that's Jeff. He's got new moon boots. Gotta try him out. I see. Another thing, what's with this lady's head? Not a clue, but... Right, that's all your details sorted. Use your uniform. What? Don't get it scruffy if your ship blows up. Right, off you fuck. Wait, I have more question. I never knew there was a whales on Vulcan. Starfleet Shuttlecraft. Sup. This is Vulcan Orbital Control. You are cleared to land at the requested coordinates. Goody gum drops. Welcome to Vulcan. Please enjoy your stay. So where does one go on this planet to find an arrogant, pompous, self-absorbed, narcissistic, unbearably insufferable, stuck up, a pity, puts the ass in ambassador. Oh, he's over there. Hello. Who won't let him go? Why don't you talk to him? Why don't you talk? Okay, I'll see what he wants. Excuse me. Do you seek knowledge of the ancestors? No. Why won't you let swanky pants over the go to church? Sarketh accuses me of abandoning I'm over here. logic, but he is the one refusing Behind to explain you. his reasons for wanting to go to Pajem. What if I put him on a leash? I will permit it if you will pledge to me, on your honor as a Starfleet officer, that you will protect Pajem from harm. Okay, cool. Good talking with you. Oi. Pointy. Why doesn't Holy Logic like you? How should I know? He is a small man with small concerns. Thankfully, he has listened to reason, and our journey won't be delayed any longer. I am ready to leave now. Is the shuttle prepared for departure? Yup. Grab your bags. We're off. Why are you running? Okay. Get in. And no complaints about my driving. Starfleet Shuttlecraft, we have logged your flight trajectory, and you are clear for departure. Live long and prosper. So, I'm getting some strange readings. I suggest we perform a full scan. Sure. Do the thing. This is Captain Katak to all Klingon vessels. 
target their warp drive. There will be no escaping our vengeance this time. Oh, for crying out loud. Red alert. Let's get them up. Wait. What? I can't say for This is bullshit. that cease your fire captain Ooh, perhaps today is a day for words my fellow captains were blinded by our vengeance toward the shapeshifter aboard your vessel. Shapeshifter? What smoke have you been cracking? Ha! So even the mighty Federation has been fooled by the beast. Oh, John. Okay. Your guest from Vulcan is not as he or she seems, Captain. They are an Undine. They put on a false face and try to control us. But we Klingons know better. We will hunt them down until the last of these honorless dogs die screaming! Okay. Prove it. You want proof? Then lower your shields and allow me to beam over. Lol, nope. My patience is growing thin, Captain. If you lack the stomach to slay the beast aboard your vessel, then any Klingon here would gladly do it for you. You lot seem to be massively overcompensating. So long as the Undine dies, I will meet my death with eyes wide open and victory in my heart. I await your decision. Close Haley frequencies. I'm bored of this. Beam me down so we can finish this escort quest. We couldn't have beamed straight to the monastery. Fine. I'll walk. But I'm going to complain about this when we get back. I honestly don't know what I pay you people for. But Captain, we don't actually get paid. Shut up. Looks like the angry boys got here first. Whoops. I thought I had it set to stun. Might have been slight overkill, but let's roll with it. Unimatrix above, why is it all uphill? Lol get wrecked scrub. Oh free egg. I have terrible news. Vulcan security forces have discovered the body of Ambassador Soketh. His remains were discovered in a stasis chamber, hidden in a cavern beneath the Ambassador's residence. The Ambassador on your ship, the one that I have been working for, is an imposter. Well, this could be a problem. Such emotion on your face. I see now, my deception has been exposed. Pity. Capturing the abbot so we could replace him as well would have been beneficial. But we are strong. We will prevail. You are weak, and the weak shall perish. Are you guys seeing this? Cause I'm having flashbacks. Thanks for that. Okay, he's done a runner. I guess we'd better chase him. He's not wasting any time, is he? Fire everything we have. Oh 
Oh god, oh heck. Uh oh. That looks like it's going to hurt. Ow. Reinforcements have arrived. Oh, thank the collective. Nanites that's bright. Scan the leftovers. I want to be sure it's dead. This is Captain LaForge of the USS Challenge. Oh shit. You're famous. Glad to see we made it here in time to lend you a hand. Perhaps you'll return the favor someday. LaForge out. Well, I think that's enough excitement for one day. Let's get out of here. That was quick. I have more questions. I've been seeing strange text prompts and unexplained SpaceX. What's with that? Is your optic sensor malfunctioning? Medical has told me everything is working within acceptable parameters. Are you sure about that? Yes. Are you trying to imply something? Don't know what you're talking about, but... Right. Another thing. How long has she been standing here? 